Welcome to the Pixel Video Choices Podcast. I'm your host, Nir Bandi, and today we're going to be talking about Open Heart, Third Year, Book 3, Chapter 1, Edenbrook 2.0. Bloom has reopened Edenbrook and given it a makeover, but will it really be for the better? So, um, the book starts, and at first you have this... You can rewind what happened in book two. I did play that. You know, a, a lot of things, you know, look like teeny tiny details that I had forgotten. It like uh, sort of helped me uh, reminisce that. So it was good. So we are basically coming to this hospital for our third year. And so some interesting points about this is that like Bloom has changed the hospital. Like, and it's now Bloom Edenbrook. So, you know, the Edenbrook sign. So there is a B also there representing Bloom's name. And basically we see like, uh, so Bloom is a tech billionaire. I don't know if uh, that was brought up in book two or but that's who he, he is. And basically Elijah, he's saying like, oh, this is also like Star Trek. And even Baz is also saying that. So basically we see like everything has changed. Like everything is like everything has been updated the nurses center is just you know touch screen is there everything is like like everything is con- you know controlled by ai artificial intelligence it seems like and a lot of you know place for doctors to relax you know to have that leisure moment and stuff like that you know the massage center so we get this diamond scene to you know sort of have a trip around and to see what are these you know places where we can sit back relax and we we take it positively first we enjoy but later in the diamond scene we bring this up with our love interest in that mixer party where we say like you know this is too good to be true like it's so nice but we hope like they don't try to buy us with this like Lil and bloom here we're talking about and then one thing that really you know interesting like we were in this diagnostics team and if you as you know uh, harper Emery, he she is back to the diagnostics team you know she left it but in the last book we saw how we uh, made this conversation happen between harper Emery, who left the diagnostics team formerly and with aurora and to follow their dreams so you know we uh, you know helped aurora speak her mind to harper Emery. so now this is really interesting so she's back in this diagnostics team now and we know like you know uh, harper and ethan they used to date each other so we uh, see something like they are ta- while they're talking they're exchanging some looks but also at first we're thinking like harper they're talking over us while we're asked for our opinions but ethan later gave us the opportunity to talk so i would say this stuff this plot this thing is going to be really interesting like this this you know old chemistry between harper and ethan and like this ethan and our main character so that that was really interesting to be honest and we see like bazes at first throughout the chapter we see like bazes like he's lost in something he's thinking about some stuff and he's totally lost and he's answering and also when we are uh, you know when we were given this task to diagnose this patient then Baz literally told us like um, if we can do uh, you know their part two his part two so we assumed that something is wrong with Baz but we didn't know like what is it now the mixer party is coming so you get another diamond scene you can go shopping you can wear a cloth diamond scene that is and then later you can have you go to this mixer party so there the thing to meant and yeah another thing like when we were in this you know diagnostics room so Lil and bloom he enters and he says like i want to see how this goes on and i have said in my previous videos and i am pushing for it like there is going to be serious you know uh con- you know a conflict or uh, like there is a clear difference of opinions between mc ethan and Lil and bloom Lennon Bloom wants to run this hospital in a different way. Like, he's saying stuff like, you know, we want to run it democratically or, like, stuff like that. And also, he wants to be there. He wants to see, and you know, new facility, who would get it first. So, so far, there is no, nothing, no difference. Like, what Lennon Bloom has said so far is good. But the way he is meddling with the diagnostics team, it can, you know, have dire effect in the future. And already, you know, we're seeing something wrong with Baz. You know, Baz was almost lost the whole time but when 
Ethan mentioned about this new rules. He said, like, yeah, of course, it's really awesome. So I don't know what's wrong, but we'll see more with this. Like, why Baz is so lost? Does it have anything to do with, her, you know, Lil and Bloom? So we will see more about that. And then uh, in this mixer party, we have this a long diamond scene where, and I would say that diamond scene was a wholesome. So this mixer party was really great. Like you talk with Sienna, you see like foods and cakes, and there is rep replica of Edinburgh. And you, as the diamond scene was also wholesome, you get to try this new, um, you know, this massage center also. So that was really awesome, wholesome, you know, diamond scene with love interest and get to know them. And well, now another thing. So when you were trying this cappuccino center. There was this time like when Aurora was helping out you and Sienna to uh, you know to get that cappuccino from the cappuccino machine and then you order some stuff and you say something and Aurora smiles. So this could be those glimmer of hope or some glints that it could be that like uh, Aurora is potentially as you are pushing for a lot of people are pushing for we're hoping like Aurora would be a potential love entrance in the future so it can happen so I think that would progress over time but we didn't get any news on Esme or anything so we'll have to see and now this chapter ends we solved the case again like as we've been solving throughout book one book two like you know we're getting some clues from our friends like they're accidentally solving this case for us they're saying something like maybe it looks that way but it doesn't look that way and we're getting like yes it's clicking in our brain like yes that's it we have thanks Sienna and then we solved the case but you know like the, at the end we get a surprise like Baz is saying like he's not gonna be a member of the diagnostics team anymore and he's gonna quit the team permanently now we don't know why he's doing that so changes are everywhere lots of changes like Edenbrook has totally changed its name has changed its infrastructure has changed everything has changed and now the diagnostics team is also facing changes and also you know sort of Lil and Bloom is trying to intervene now what's going to happen with that is this diagnostics team is going to survive there could be potential new story line behind Ethan and Harper Emery we like a lot of thing to look forward to and the chapter 2's description is also quite fascinating that they say a psychic patient they reveals they could reveal something about this like it says a psychic patient caused a stir in Edinburgh but what will they reveal so what is about the revealing part like is Edinburgh so perfect as it seems under bloom I, this is really interesting like what is going to happen toward the end like is it still going to be Bloom's Edinburgh what is hiding there like what could change potentially like uh, it's gonna be like the service that Edinburgh used to give to its patients is it going to change how the diagnostics team is going to maintain their freedom while working under you know the Bloom and how Bloom is going to create problems how the difference uh, the difference of idealism between East Han and Bloom it is going to be a main problem a lot of questions to answer and this book is going to be super awesome I'm excited about the first chapter that I read I was excited about that I'm still like thrilled I can't wait for the book too let's see what happens uh, chapter 2 I mean so let's see what happens let me know guys in the comment section what do you think about this chapter and overall and also comment any suggestion or anything you want to tell about this book in the comment section thank you guys for listening in stay safe i will see you with open heard book 3 chapter 2 release next friday bye guys